months. Yes, I like to sow my seeds early mm -hmm. because I think I have pointed out to you girls before the importance of vernalisation. Do you remember what that means? Um, no. Yes, the, 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 the wintering. That's wintering. Right. Uh, many seeds need a period of cold, wet um, weather on them to trigger germination in what they're then supposed to be spring. Um, it's it, a very pretty violet coloured clematis. That's what I know about it. Like Something it. new. Yes. Fizzy so, little things. Yes, a cute. Hmm. Um, so this is my technique for sowing seeds. I use a, a good deep pot like that. Yep. Uh, obviously my own homemade compost. Oh, God, here, we oh, go. here we go again. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so, oh, I'm so clever. <laughs> my own <laughs> compost. <laughs> I have a tamper here made by my mm. uh, clever husband, which exactly fits well, the, the pots that I use. Yes, yes. She's uh, very lucky with her husband, isn't she? So <laughs> we, we, we tamp the soil down in there, so it's just a nice level. Um, we then give it a little uh, water. Stand back. Mm. Here we go. <laughs> Just watch it. Here we go. Are we? <laughs> well, that seems to have done it. Right. <laughs> Finish splashing, did I? <laughs> not, not more than a gallon, also. Okay. Uh, then uh, I'm going to sprinkle my seeds just on the surface uh, of the pot, like that. I'm not going to cover them or um, bury them in the soil. I'm going to sprinkle them on the surface and they're going to cover the entire surface and all the seeds with, with grit. A, with grit <coughs> like yeah. that. I do that for all my seeds, even if they say sow them uncovered. Mm -hmm. I always, the light can get through grit uh, and gravel. The seeds germinate perfectly well in your gravel drive. Um, and that's great because that just keeps the keeps interface uh, with the soil and the seed always moist. Well, and I plant them deep because, um, I don't know about you, but suddenly you have a great um, array of, of seeds all coming up at the same time. You don't have time to prick them out or deal with them. Yes. And in a small pot, they soon get starved and wither and die. Mm. I'm quite happy to leave these in this pot all year, mm. maybe till next year, and I'll prick them out next year mm -hmm. because they've got everything they need in this pot to last for a year or two. Mm. So there's no great urgency. Mm. Um, as long as you don't sow them too thickly and they get etiolated. Yes, yeah. exactly. Mm. They get what? Itulated. They, they get they get very um, long and thin and oh, starved, okay. of, starved of light round round the sides of the stem. Okay. So <coughs> well, the very last yeah. thing uh, mm. I'm going to do is label them. Um, I just think the best way of writing on a label is with pencil. Oh, I totally agree with you. Forget waterproof yep. pens or yep. anything like that. Yep. I just always uh, use pencil. pencil, and then they're fine. completely reusable as well. Yes. <laughs> just no, you rub them working. out. Unfortunately, yours doesn't <laughs> got a point on it. I always find it's worth sharpening the pencil first. <laughs> Lovely. Yeah. Then I'm going to leave that outside. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not even going to put it in a cold frame. I'm just going to leave it somewhere where it can get um, cold, where the rain can wash through it. And then those seeds there are a hardy plant. It's a hardy clematis. They will germinate when they're ready. That might be this spring or it might be next spring, mm. but it really doesn't matter. And I find I get the best germination after a couple of days of very heavy rain. Uh, and I think that washes out the inhibitor in the seeds, and that's generally when I get the best germination. Mm.